Hello everybody, I'm Nicole from the Halliburton County Public Library and today we're going to be doing light bulb hot air balloons. So here's my example. And here's what you're going to need. Okay, so you're going to need a light bulb. So I have one. It's already been used, it's left over. You can use really any type of light bulb. I recommend the incandes incandescent for safety reasons, but it can be any type really. You'll need glue, and I'm going to be using a paintbrush to uh, apply that. And for me, I'm going to use a bunch of scrap fabric pieces. You can also use tissue paper or colored paper. I also have some twine, twine, string, jute, whatever. I also have some very thin wire I'll be using and I'm going to be using a old or a used cap from a um, juice jug milk carton type thing. You'll need, if you use wire, you'll need snips and a pair of scissors. You'll also need a hot glue gun and hot glue sticks. Okay, so let's get started. Depending on what you're using to cover your light bulb. so. As I said, I'm using scrap fabric, so I'm just gonna get some of it out. It may take longer to dry than paper. Okay, and I'm just gonna pour some glue in our dish here and start. So I'm just kind of finding the pieces I want so that when I get going, I can just grab them off and put them on. So add some glue to the ball and then add your fabric and then just kind of coat it in the glue. You don't have to, but I find it sticks a lot better this way. So I'm trying to make kind of a straight line at the bottom because I want that to be kind of uh, showing. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm done with the gluing fabric. Um, I'm just kind of pushing down some of the edges that have popped up. And I have some leftover clothespins. So I'm just gonna rest this kind of on them and I'm gonna let that dry. The cloth does take a while to dry. Um, paper probably won't take that long, but wait for it to dry completely. You don't want to be messing with this with the wet glue because the fabric slides everywhere. So I will be back when that dries. So my light bulb is pretty dry. Um, there's a couple really thicker parts that are still kind of tacky, but I'm going to move on. The next step is I actually attach kind of, it's the um, basket of the hot air balloon. And I just do that with some wire and uh, some hot glue. So this is just some very bendable, very thin wire. I'm just going to cut off fair length. Okay, and I'm just wrapping it around the, th around the threads of the bulb here. Okay, so with the wire bent to the shape, um, I'm going to take my hot glue gun and I'm going to tack this on. I'm also going to put a glob of hot glue right where I bend it to go downwards. You don't need a lot. It is just holding a little bit of weight with the cap. So you don't need a huge amount. 
amount. So now taking the whatever you have for your basket, you can hockle it straight on. So it depends on what you decide for the length, how far down you want to put the basket. Just keep in mind the way you put it on is going to determine how far it goes down. Sometimes if you do it on the outside, it's less than the inside, you know. Okay, so I'm just putting a couple blobs of hot glue in the inside. And that is where my wires are going to sit. Just gonna let that sit for a second while it cools. So while that's finishing cooling, I have cut a fairly long length of the rope twine thing I have. Jute, I don't know what it's called. So I'm gonna fold it in half. And then with that cooled, I'm gonna take the part that's bent the other end Wrap it around. I'm going to feed the other end through. And I'm going to hot glue that on to the bulb so it doesn't move on me. And then I'm going to separate it. Put one strand over here, other over here. So I'm going to go from the point where I twisted it off, the point where I looped it through, quarter way around. I'm going to put tack of glue there, put the string in it, let it dry. Same thing from the point I joined it, pour it away over the bulb, dab of glue, string in it, let it dry. To this side, I'm going to pull the string, I'm going to put the string up gently, and then I'm going to put the glue just kind of right here, just because I want it the string to sit tight to the ball. I'm going to do the same for this side. So at the top, I'm going to do a twist. Bring it down. Just so there's two small triangles. Right there and there. Because I'm going to bring it down, loop it, and then bring it back up so the string goes up. Okay, I'm going to Pack it. Okay, and I'm just gonna loop this this way. So it goes up like that. Just tack there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put just a quick knot in the top here. And I'm going to double knot that. And then at the top of the screen, string. So you can decide how long you want this. You can make a whole bunch of the hot air balloons and make them different length and hang them at different angles and heights. So I'm just going to take the length I have left and I'm going to put a knot in it. And then I'll just put a pretty bow on it. So that will be how long it hangs down. One last thing you can do, actually, one thing you can do with the string is you can actually kind of put it through like that as well. It looks nice. I just, I like mine. It, there's enough going on with the patterns I have on there. I don't need it. But I'm going to take some and I'm just going to kind of cover the end here. The other option is you can actually decorate the basket. So you can either take some cloth or some paint, some fabric tissue paper, whatever you want, and paint it to whatever design. I've seen them done with walnut shells and they look amazing, but 
there's my hot air balloon. Okay, so that's the craft. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoy it. It is a very fun craft. The cloth does take quite a while to dry. Um, but I had the scraps laying around, so they got used. <laughs>